Speaker. Uh, Dr Megan Woods. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Watching members opposite is like watching part three of a movie series that should never have been made. You sit there with the cushion kind of cringing behind it because you know it's tired, it's out of ideas, and it just lacks any kind of vision. That's right, as my colleague Ian Lees Galloway says, it's the epitome of jumping the shark. Mr Speaker, this is nine long years in the making this government, what we're seeing here today. What we are also seeing in um, speeches, it's very li interesting listening to the general debate speeches where you see the lines um, get refined. I noticed that government members have now stopped saying they are delivering for all New Zealanders. That's largely because obviously their polling is showing that is not what people believe, because this is not a government that is delivering for all New Zealanders. This is not a government where people are better off. This is a government where people are crying out for housing. This is a government where people need more from their health system, and this is a government where people need, this is a country where people need more from their education system. And Mr Speaker, the, the, cr the train crash that we're seeing opposite starts at the top. What we're seeing is a party headed by a leader that has no vision and is losing credibility with the New Zealand public. He is also losing moral authority. You only need to have a look at the Barclay affair. The story changes every day. Today again in question time, we saw a man who thinks it's credible that a Prime Minister the leader of our country, so-called, can stand up and basically plead the fifth time and time again. He won't front up. He won't take responsibility. That is not leadership and what we need. What we have, Mr Speaker, we, we heard the, the Minister responsible for housing talking about housing. Well, this government needs to realise we have people living in cars. Newsflash, a car is not a home. It has four doors in the main, and that is not a home. That is not a place I want to see New Zealanders calling home. We see a government that in the middle of a housing crisis is continuing with their ideological agenda to flog off state houses. In Christchurch, they're wanting to sell 2,500 state houses, and one of the consortiums that's been shortlisted to buy those houses has been accused of human rights breaches on Manus Island. This is the kind of people that this government thinks is capable of running our social housing. That's the one that Alfred Naro isn't fronting up and threatening to take away with their funding if they happen to, to um, say a word out of line about the government's absolute failure when it comes to housing. And Mr Speaker, we do have a plan. We certainly have a plan for how many houses we're going to build in the Hutt Valley, and I can tell you there will be more affordable options. Right. We do not think that we can keep shutting New Zealanders out of housing like this government does. Their plan in the Hutt Valley just shows that they have given up on affordable housing for a generation of New Zealanders. Labour will build houses. We have a, a housing crisis in New Zealand, and when you have a housing crisis, newsflash, you need houses. And that is exactly what Labour will deliver through its um, Kiwi Bill program. But Mr Speaker, when I'm out and about in my electorate in Wigram, when I'm on the doorstep, when I'm out meeting people, when I'm on the phone, the number one issue that is raised with me is mental health. And this is a government that is absolutely letting down the country and the people of Canterbury when it comes to mental health. You only had to listen to the Minister of Health slipping and sliding in questions today in response to Dr David Clark about what they are doing. We have an abs a, a population that has been left traumatised by a series of, of events, and the latest event to traumatise them is the funding pulling that this government is doing in the area of mental health. It is an absolute dereliction of 
duty when it comes to the people of Canterbury and their well-being. And it is something this government will be judged by, for, by the people of Canterbury on the 23rd of September, Mr Speaker. This is a government that is not delivering for all New Zealanders. It is a government that is facing a crisis in housing, in health and education, and it is out of ideas. The Honourable Alfonado. Mr Speaker, this is a